Lucy Parda and welcome back to Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. In the last episode, a lot of bad stuff happened. It'd be better if you just watched it instead of me recapping, because it's I don't even know where to begin. We fought the king of Ding Dong Dell, but then things all got turned around. It was ridiculous stuff, and we're getting closer and closer to the end of the game. Now I don't know exactly what we had to do. It's been a couple days for me. Um, but right now we gotta go to Caldera and try saying the magic word. So I don't know exactly where that is. Maybe we can figure that out. First, let me see if there's any research done in the kingdom. I don't really know if there is or not, but we might as well check and find out together. Uh, you know, just build our kingdom up a little bit more, see how things go, manage our kingdom. So some research topics have been completed, and our coffers are not full, uh -huh. but I'll take what I got. You know, that's another 11,000, which is great, because we're in 43,000 in total. I've been wanting to buy another upgrade if I can. I don't know if I can. Let's manage our kingdom, go to the castle. How much would it be to expand your coffers? Ooh. It Okay, yeah, um, this costs 20,000. Expand the capacity of Evermore's coffers to level four. Your coffers will be able to hold up to 80,000. I wanna do this even if it's a little bit expensive, just, just that way we can worry about other things a little bit more often. Um, we can't level up the kingdom itself. We have a lot more to do uh, when it comes to that. A lot more to do. So we can just focus on the research being completed, complete that, and uh, we go level four armor development, done. Uh, and before we do any more research, let me go ahead and finish everybody else's research and just sort of move on from there. Because I don't really know too much of what we can do with our money right now. Hopefully something good. Complete this research. We did get the new music center, so we can actually move uh, narrow use to that if we wanted to. I mean, just sort of, you know, as something else. I don't really know if that's gonna benefit us at all in the game though, which is the problem. Which is why we might wanna wait until we actually have proper people to put into the higgle re thing. Okay, so you know, let's get to researching. I think it would be good to start researching from here, if we do some research. Level three melee development. Uh, researching into this topic will take around 43 minutes. That's fine, and I can afford it. No, I can't, the, the research conditions are not met. IQ 200. Oh yeah, we don't have spiff spiffing smithing. We don't have that, jeez. Uh, we got some of this, right? No, we still don't have spiffing smithing. Why not? What character has that? I don't know. I mean, we just have to wait around. Okay, well then we'll focus on some other stuff. We got some research here we can do, right? Maybe? No. What's the problem here? Nimble fingers we have. Maybe they're not a master of nimble fingers? Why? I don't understand. Hmm. She must not be a master of nimble fingers yet. Neither of them have creative flair. We don't have enough IQ for that one. Jeez, we can't do anything. Maybe it's not worth worrying about right now. I don't want to spend like a forever and a half worrying about all of this, so we could always do it another time. Let us go ahead and find out where we have to go. Oh, way up here, that's right. Oh yeah, I remember now. Okay, so let's start at Broadleaf. We'll go to the world map, and we'll travel into there and see what we can do. I mean, of course, we could shortcut it a little bit. We could just fly over there with the Zipline, and maybe that's what, what we'll end up doing, but I figured I should check out some of the enemies. If we could level up some of our guys, it'd be great. Uh, we we'll just make our way over whatever way we can. A lot of huge enemies over here, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, we wanna go this way. So engage turbo boosters. So here's that boss fight that I think I ended up skipping out on. I mean, I don't know if I actually checked out how, how much, what level it is or not, I can't remember. But he doesn't look friendly, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, so let's check it out. Right like that, hello. Level 34, oh no, this is easy. Okay, so we'll take you on. Level 34 is so easy, what are you doing here? Um, tactic tweaker though. You were a grassy type kind of thing, so if I could you were, I think, more wonder, but definitely more nature. And then, okay, that's the best I can do for right now. I do have 13 points, but, and I don't know what you're gonna have, but I think you're probably gonna be like a poison confusion kind of thing, if I had to imagine. Okay, so we'll try that out and see what ends up happening. Let's go and fight. Level 34 should be super easy. You know, like if we have a boss fight we can take down, we might as well take it down. It'll be helpful in the long run. So, yeah. go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Just scream as loud as you can, Batu. I forgot how to play the game. I was pressing the wrong buttons there. <laughs> I've been playing Hyrule Warriors 
So it's just, it's a different game with different controls, and I'm trying to use those controls, and it doesn't work. Um, oh yeah, that's the button I need to press. Okay. Uh, do this. There we go. That was good. That was good. Okay, and we're getting healed, which is good because Tani sort of took a beating there. Uh, and in the meantime, you know, let's just go ahead and snipe you down because you are trying to attack me, and I don't appreciate it. I want to switch to a different character. Batu, sure. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Oh gosh, he's running because he's almost taken out already. It's been great. Fine, might just be better to do this. If he's just gonna run around all quick, he's got some very large legs. It's hard to keep up. Love, love for Rollins, Bracken, Evan, pretty good. Okay, I'll gladly take it. And we attained a backshot bow. 3,890 guilders. Good stuff, great rewards for a boss. That wasn't too bad. Like, what are the enemies around here? Like, they're level 50 somethings. So it is weird. Let's set up a teleport here as well, if we can. Which we can, so it's worth grabbing. Got that teleport, the trip door. Like, these guys are level 57. I'm more worried about this guy than I am the boss fight. <laughs> Why is that? That's just bizarre. Who's the closest to a level up out of this group? It's looking like Tani. Okay, great. So I'll try to keep playing her. I gotta be careful, because she's already getting beat up really badly. So if I could use a couple sorways on her. Okay. So I just gotta be careful. Maybe keep my distance would be helpful. Oh boy, I keep forgetting the buttons right now. I don't know why that is. Okay, activate that. I'm remembering them now. Just when I'm in a pinch, that's when I totally forget them and I start pressing all the wrong buttons. Get you over here, come on, you're going down. You can't run from us forever. So close to a level up, so very close. That's all of them. So we're not getting any more experience out of that. Okay, so yeah, we'll just sort of fight our way to the objective. I feel like it would help us because we're gonna need these levels. If it's a recommended level 50 something and we're not doing that great, like we definitely want to try to get levels while we can. Okay, got this one. If things seem like they're too difficult, I could probably just zip line, zip line over to where, wherever the objective is and just you know worry about it that way. But in the meantime, if I could get some extras, I wanna try to get them. Oh, that did so much damage to everyone. That was great. Get okay, you, you guys. And then start focusing on some of these guys, maybe from afar. And then go for you. And then this guy, full health. Not any longer, because we're all attacking you. Nice. So there's a level up for Tommy, awesome. So I might want to reconfigure my uh, stuff now that I have another leveled up character. Let's see who does need to be leveled up, how close they are. Because right now, Batu's the closest to a level up. Tani's not even close to a level up now, so we can switch her out. She's the highest level of this group too, so. How's Rollin doing? I know he just got a level up. No, I switched out the wrong people. How is that? Uh, he's pretty far away from level up. Party, Bracken, Rollin. She's in the middle. I think Leander must be close then, right? No, he's even farther than anybody else. Uh, so who is the closest? We'll just do Bracken for now. That should work out okay. And we're gonna keep moving this way, it seems. I'm just trying to keep a good eye on the map. Yeah, yeah I gotta go this way. What else was over here? The crash th site. Yeah, that, that was a little weird. We flew over all of this in the past. We didn't really do too much with it. This guy's level 63. Okay. I mean, I might just mainly play as Evan for a little while because I feel like he needs Good to be luck, higher level. I mean, I need to start using the candies as well. I probably have a lot of those, I would sure hope at this point. So maybe I could look into using some of those. Can I, oh, this is the wrong one. That's not the move I wanted to use. No, Evan already, come on, that was so quick. Uh, um, Angel's Tear? Revives and allies with a little HP, okay. There we go, there's that. <laughs> Oh, I'm bad at this game. Okay, so let's go ahead and destroy you as much as I can, and then go for these guys like this. Boom. Got rid of a couple of them that way. I mean, these enemies do not match with our tactic tweaker very well, so we do have to be careful, that kind of stuff. This guy's gonna take range damage though, which is good. Okay, so we beat him up a little bit there. Ugh, that could have turned out better, that's for sure. Well, we got some experience one way or another. I mean, maybe it'd be smarter when it comes to earning up levels to boss hunt instead of just dealing with enemy after enemy. Maybe this is just like a slow, slow way to level up in this game. I don't even realize it. I'm not sure. Right now, we'll just go over everything and we're just supposed to wait here, I suppose. Uh, go to Caldera and try saying the magic words. Oh, I was hoping I could activate the thing, but go ahead and say them. See what happens. Hmm. Gosh. So this is Caldera. 
Well, it is great, a great big frozen bowl. That is much, much is certain. Reckon we might be onto something, Buyer. All right, we'd better try these magical words. Cup awake, sword to make. Oh, it's working. Oh, fancy. We gotta activate the teleport as well. It worked! Uh, what is that, some kind of shrine or something? Let's go and take a closer look, shall we? I'm sure we'll find a, the cup inside. Sure. Let's do this first, and then we'll go inside. Have our whole squad following us. Shrine of Unity. This this has to be it then. I mean, it, it did the magical words. So it'd be weird if it wasn't. <laughs> wow. All right, so the cup has to be in here somewhere. That's for sure. It doesn't seem like there's much else. Oh wait, there's enemies. Ooh. Okay, there's certainly enemies. Let's play as Batu for a little bit, I suppose, because he's almost at level 48. It would be good to get that. Uh, consider how well hidden this place was. I doubt the cup will be easy to find. Yeah, it might be defended. I was hoping it wouldn't be, but here we are. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and try to beat some of these guys up like that, and then I'm gonna start spinning as soon as I can. And then go for this guy. Oh gosh, I'm like not focusing on anybody right now. Okay, victory. Never mind, I don't have to. It seems like there's more than one way to go as well. Oh, and they both sort of branch off. I think I had to go to the left first. This seems like the better idea. Maybe. Yeah, I don't see, oh, it's way up that way. I mean, these might all lead back to each other, but if I could go down each one, trying to make sure I get everything, like this treasure chest, that would be very good. Let's go ahead and grab that. We get, oh, another uh, savior's tier. Those can be helpful, because I think they fully restore everybody who's been taken out. Okay, grab that. Radiant Radish. And we are a little low on health, so maybe I should move back to Evan. So we're gonna take on some more enemies here. Because they're gonna attack us, we might as well attack them. Okay, now that they're a little bit closer, maybe I could do this and miss all of them. Great. Come on, get ya. I'm gonna get ya. Okay. Okay, these guys are asleep right now. I guess Bracken maybe did that, hard to tell. Okay. Moving, moving. I think we got them all. Victory. So before we move that way, it looked like there was something we could do to open that up maybe? Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, what is this? It's just a little piece. I thought that maybe there was like a door here, it's just a wall, so this was the wrong way. Okay, I'm glad I went the wrong way first so I could get whatever uh, reward we could possibly get. Because this way it's looking like is the proper way. It has to be or it's already a dead end. This place is a bit more of a labyrinth than I was expecting. I thought we'd just walk in and it would be there. No, this is where the hard part starts. Because I, I mean, they know that we have the zip line. They, they expect us to skip out on a ton of stuff. Um, me too, brr. I guess it's cold in here. Makes sense, we're in cold era. Get it? It's like an era of coldness. Okay, well, that's pretty good. We got rid of one guy like that. Boom, get rid of some of you guys as well. Honestly, the fire doesn't do too much damage to you guys, which I would expect it would because we're in like, you know, cold area, these cold type enemies, but I guess they're not. They're just enemies. Gotcha. And then we just got that dude over there. Oh, and this guy, got him. So we're still just trying to make do with what we got. I mean, I still don't have that much closeness to the uh, next level. Okay, so this definitely wraps around in a big circle, I see that. So I'm gonna go this way for now, and hope that everything's worthwhile. I do see some enemies up ahead at the least. Hmm. All right, this place is flipping enormous. Okay, come on, get him, get him, get him. I need to back up a little bit, actually. Uh, but if we could just show up, and then this fire attack. I missed everyone. Oh, 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 get that, nice, okay. This should be helpful, I hope. Go ahead and just start jabbing at you, and then, nice, okay. Get rid of these guys as much as I can. Nice, you're gone. You are gone. Nice, and then you for sure. And then who do we got? We got this guy over there, this guy over here. Just start lobbing as many magical attacks as we can. We're getting closer to level 48. It's slowly but surely happening. I definitely have to check out my gear sometime soon. See what I can upgrade from there. I don't know if there's anything down this way all that much. We'll check it out. Just real quick, poke our head down to make sure the full map is sort of revealed. I don't think there's gonna be too much. 
Yeah, it's just another way to get over here. It was a bit of a shorter way. But I was just trying to take a look for secrets. We didn't really find any, though. To be honest with you. But there are two more routes? No, no, no. That's a dead end over there. There's something I could pick up if I wanted to. Not entirely interested. So head inside the shrine and look for the cup. That's what we're doing right now. Because the sword was turned into the cup. That's the thing. Oh, we got another sore away. Those are always helpful. Hey. Any kind of healing. Uh, don't you have any way of seeing where the cup is or something? And there's only one singular way to go. What in the world is this guy? Holy cow, he's huge! What level are you? Uh, 60. Brilliant decor. Wow, he's brilliant! That's scary! Oh gosh, I don't like this. Um, I mean, so far we're sort of handling- Oh, he got frozen. Who froze him? <laughs> Did he freeze himself? Okay, thank you, Lofty. Ow. No, Evan! Oh, come on. Okay, so we need to go ahead and do Angel's Tear, like that. Um, use the Sora way on whoever we can, because, actually, do that on you. Good. Okay, that's the best we can do at the moment. Jeez, that was crazy. Okay, he's down, he's down, he's down. Go for him. And then go like this, start jabbing him with that move, that'll be great. Okay, that's good, that's good. And then maybe we could switch over to somebody else really quickly, see what they're doing. I think we gotta move though. I can't switch right now. Yeah, I can't switch characters, it won't let me. That's weird, okay, there it goes. Took a little while. <laughs> come on, come on, get this guy, get this guy. Start spinning on him or something. Come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Whoa. <laughs> okay, got it. Activate that, keep moving, keep moving. Nice, we got him. Level up for Batu, not a level up for Evan? Why? Because he got knocked out earlier in the battle? I don't think he got like any experience from that. Wow, that might actually be the case, which is totally bogus. Uh, head inside the shrine. We're still doing that. Oh, flipping uh, surely there can't be much further to go now. I would hope not, but you never know. Now we got another like split path. Hmm. It tells me to go that way, so I'm definitely gonna go this way first, because I'm just such a rebel. And we got a pebble. That rhymes. That wasn't a bad boss, though. A little scary, but... Okay, so yeah, this was a dead end. Maybe, we'll, I, I'm gonna guess we're gonna get like a musical note from this. This is usually what we get in the super secret ones. Oh no, we got a little uh, robe. Cool. So we might have to face like another boss before we end up getting the sword. We'll have to be careful. But for now, we'll just make our way there as much as we can. What is that? It looks like a giant curtain in the background. It's oh. a long trip up. The staircase, oh, there's something up ahead. Oh no, it's a light coming in. Yeah, this is interesting. Uh. Oh, it's a cup, I think. Hmm. No, it's not a cup. It's an angry looking oh. statue. Oh, it's just some sort of shrine. Blimey. And nothing cup-like in sight either. <sighs> Did we make a wrong turn somewhere? I don't think so. Why don't we just check it out? Oh boy, he doesn't look happy. Oh, he looks really angry. Oh, he's in color. Oh gosh, it's a boss fight. I knew it. I knew there'd be another boss fight. Temper Temple, hollowed home of ho whatever that said. Let's go to. Okay, so. Oh jeez. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> this is not good. Ow! Don't just hit Batu. What did he do to you? Jeez, so I guess to prove that we're worthy, we need to do a lot of stuff here. So first off, I'm gonna try to get this weapon to 100% so we can really hit him with something here. But I really wish I could've changed my tactic tweaker. I mean, I guess if we fail, we can do that, because right now it's not where I want it to be. Because this is all wrong. Okay, roll back, try to activate the Sigledy. Got him. Because I have a lot of mana left, this out, Batu. That really hurt. Jeez, he just explodes. Okay, come on. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and give him a Soraway. Or a couple, maybe. And then maybe a three-leaf Soraway for Bracken. There we go. That's about all I can do at the moment. Come on, I gotta just do what I can while I can because Batu's gonna get beaten up soon. You know, we're just gonna stay far away. And just attack him. Or not, because he moves around too quickly. Okay, move to another character. What do we got? Was there Higgledies over here? There was, hold on. I debate that. Ow! That really hurts. I mean, I do have like my other stuff if I need to. 
But I'd rather not if I don't have to. This guy's tough. This guy's really tough. Uh, Higgledies, Higgledies, I need you right now. Okay. Oh boy. Ow, come on, come on. If I need to, I'll go ahead and do one of the, uh, Okay, here we go. Double healing, double healing, double double healing. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh, Cause this, with a lot of HP that revives allies. What else do we have? Hmm. Not really too much is gonna help us right now, I don't think. Uh, if I could just go ahead and use some crazy moves on you, and then like, do this one, sure, why not? I don't have enough mana for it, now I do, now I don't. Gosh darn, I couldn't use it. Okay, quickly, I need to go ahead and do Savior's Tier on everybody. There we go. That's the best I could do for right now. No, 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 don't get taken out. That's not a good time. Ah, oh, that stinks. Okay, Angel's Tier for you. And that's about all I can do when it comes to healing for right now. I only have a uh, one three-leaf Sorowai, so I need to make sure it counts. But he's pretty low. Might be able to do something. Is Lofty gonna do something for us? Because that'd be great, buddy. Okay, he's spinning. Don't know what that's gonna do. Oh, the hammer missed. Good job, guys, good job. Uh, so I'm not gonna be able to hit him right now, but maybe he'll get dizzy or something? Oh, he might be. He might be a little dizzy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ready to start doing some moves. That didn't really do much damage, because he's all fiery. Doing the fire time moves probably not gonna help too much. Come on, come on, if I could just do the square move, that would be great. Okay, that knocked us back, but that's okay. Heals, heals, I would like the heals. Got it. Get over there, he's gonna explode, actually, so if we could. I tried to roll, but it doesn't really do anything. Okay, come on, get over there and then act, oh, and I'm low on mana again, even though I didn't use it. What the heck is with that? Oh no, come on. This is bad, use another savior's tier if I have to. How many of those do I have? Oh, this is my last one. Okay, do this instead, because we're so close to defeating him. If I could just, now just focus on him, like this, we'll be fine, we can get him. Oh, now you give me this, seriously, you jerk? Lofty, you're such a jerk! The moment the boss fight's over? Wow. Holy cow, I can't believe you did that to me. Okay, well, we got the cup. That's for sure. Huh. <sighs> well, we well, gotta just figure out how to turn this thing into a sword. Uh, you obtained the Blazeproof Warlord's Armor. Cool, so let's go ahead and grab this. All right, so let's go ahead and get it. What's gonna happen? Oh. Oh my. So this is it. It's beautiful. Do we really have to turn something so pretty into a sword? Y yeah. Okay. Unless you wanna try clunking the horned one over the head with a flipping goblet, then yeah. Come on, let's go and forge ourselves some something a bit choppier. Okay, sure. You obtain the cup of communion. Yeah, we don't really know what we're doing with it, do we? I guess we'll find out soon. Okay, new post and comments are available on the leaf book, cool. So we got, from a hilltop in the Heartlands, the world on pictures. This is a painting I did of the Heartlands before King Evan and his subjects began to build Evermore. The golden grass reflecting the sunlight was truly breathtaking. You can see the rubby ruins in the foreground. Who knows what life was once like here. And then uh, the Cup of Communion by Leander. We have managed to obtain this legendary artifact and it truly is some, a, a thing of beauty. It seems a terrible waste to melt it down to forge a sword, but history will not forgive us if we do not try. Before it vanishes forever, here's a final image of the cup. Huh, so we're, we're just literally just melting it down and turning it into a sword then. Okay, if that works, and that's what we'll do. <laughs> so we're heading back to Evermore. Um, to the castle. Yep, 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 that should be good. And hopefully, we won't have any problems turning this into whatever sort it needs to be. Hopefully it's like super powerful too. Uh, that would help us battle things. So yeah, we gotta go into the castle. This is great, I'm excited. Like I don't know if we're actually gonna be able to finish everything in today's episode, but I wanna get as close as we can. Gotta talk to Bracken. Uh, want me to get to work on the Sword of Unity? Begin development. Alrighty. Well, you'll need to get to work on your kingdom first. We need to upgrade our weapon workshop. And to do that, you'll need to get your palace up to level three. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's gonna take a lot more work. We might be farther off than I thought then. Because if I manage our kingdom right now, I can't in this room. Okay, I'll go out here. That's sort of the thing now. That's gonna take some time. Because if I take a look, to get our kingdom to level three, we're currently level two, as far as I understand. 
to get it to level three, we need to have 50 or more citizens recruited. Right now we have 29, so we'd have to do an additional 21 more citizens, almost doubling what we currently have. So I guess we're doing a side quest for the rest of today's episode. Uh, researching to make your food go further has been completed, awesome. We could level up that facility, I suppose, for 11,000, uh, sure, why not? Even though I need to build more facilities. I don't know how many facilities I have right now, but if I need at least 20 something, um, I think I just gotta start doing that. Um, so let's take a look. I have 24 out of the possible 44 at the moment. I need 35, so we're just gonna keep building more uh, with the money that I have, because that's just sort of the best idea. Like This is only 3,700, might as well. So yeah, we gotta build another 10 of them. And I'm not gonna be able to do all that at once right now. I regret spending that 20,000 20, guilders on the, the bigger coffers, but I feel like it would help them more in the long run. I might keep the game up after today's episode or something. And I thought we were actually gonna get close to beating the game today, not even. Not even close. At least this will help us level up a lot, that'll be good. Um, doing all the side quests that I'm gonna have to do. Well, this is another couple buildings. Not even seeing what these are right now. It looks like it's just another collection of farms and stuff, which must mean a lot of the people we're getting um, going to get, must be farmers and stuff. What do we got here? This is another 3,700, can't afford it anymore. Okay, so that's fine, we'll take the, ooh, 17,000 uh -huh. already, that was pretty quick. I feel like the more space you have, the quicker it fills up. I mean, also we're getting more and more places and these, you know, people are working harder and harder. That's not, I wasn't done. Hold on, manage your kingdom. What else can we buy with our 20,000 coffers? Cause now we have 27, we need 34. Uh, we're getting there. Uh, a new facility, yep, yep, yep. Awesome, look at that place. Okay, so I know there is like a bigger like section of things here, like this. How much would that be? 25,000, can't afford it. Okay, well I'll be able to build that stuff around this stuff soon enough. Oh, I can't do this until I build the thing around it. Okay, so we can't do that one. We can do all these other tiny buildings around it, and they're all very cheap at 2,900 for this one. And this one's, it looks like another adventurer's guild. I don't know, a hunting lodge number three. Why do you need more than one? I guess because we'll have like so many different people that we just need to dump them in there. All right, well it helps. Once I get this done, I can start worrying about other things like just getting the citizens and applying them wherever they need to be. This is a hunting lodge number two. All right next to each other. What'll this one be? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it says, unused, can build basic training ground. Okay, there, I, I, I just can't read. Okay, well, here's another one done, 4,500. That'll be good for our warriors, for sure. Basic training ground completed. And then how many in total is that? 31, if we can find a way to build three more. We're not gonna be able to do that with our current set of money, but we'll be able to build two more, and then earn up our money enough later to build one last one. That's another mining camp, number three, apparently. This is mining camp number two down here. Uh, mining camp number two, 2,900. So yeah, we'll be able to get all the way down, or all the way up to 33 facilities built out of the 34 we need. Then we just need to find a ton of citizens. And the best way to do that, of course, is to do side quests. So let's get to that. I mean, maybe today I should focus on going to area to area, trying to get as many side quests unlocked as possible. And then I will work on other things. There's no other side quest available to take here. If I start traveling, yeah, I might be able to find some extra side quests, like set them up. We'll go here first. Um, and then after I get a bunch of, like every side quest I have available set up, I'll do as many as I can. Um, that might be like a combination of efforts between today's episode and the next episode. We'll really have to see, but I, I'm gonna take a look at the map now in like each area, just trying to make sure there's like nobody who needs my help. Not here, which is good. Uh, that's just one place I don't have to worry about. And then Gold Paul, I think there might be a couple people in Gold Paul, but we're gonna find out. And that way we can sort of just take, um, quests from easiest to most difficult and just pop them out as quickly as possible. I mean, some of them we just can't do because we might not have like the right materials or something, or like the right conditions at the moment. Okay, there's one up there. And then there's one in the Lucky Stars, there's two in the Lucky Stars Casino. Okay, so let's run up there, I suppose. Yeah, I guess is our best thing. I mean, I could try to teleport, but I always get confused and teleport the wrong spot to the point where it's faster for me just to walk. Just to foot it over there. I'll try to grab whatever I can on the way there. It's not too far out of the way. Uh, just that way, maybe we'll grab finally like that mushroom that so-and-so has been looking for, you know? You never know. And it might just be materials that in general help us a lot. 
I wish it was like a run faster button though. Like that would help me so much and make this game a little bit easier. Oh, what the heck's happening here? This guy's just out on the floor. Hey, what's oh. going on? I I've got to tell the behavioral research guys back at home in Broadleaf about this. It's crazy. I don't get how local people can be seem to be kind of okay about it. What, the fact that this guy's just passed out? I don't understand what's happening. That might be what the uh, quest up here is about or something, I don't know. Weird. As there's a guy passed down the street, nobody else seems to care. I see what you mean. Okay. So what do we got? Another passed out guy. Okay, this is definitely a thing going on right now. Hi, oh, you're the pirate lady, aren't you? Would you care for a back rub, my lady? My lady, I have bought you some, some delicious fresh fruits, the very finest in the kingdom. I must say, my lady, you are looking ex exceptionally beautiful today. <laughs> arf, arf, how adorable you all are. Oi! What's going on by here, then? I've never seen anyone have such a fuss made of them, and I hang out with kings. Huh. Shh, we will have none of your imp impertinence. You're in the presence of Yo-Ho-Ho, -Ho, the goddess of good luck. Gosh. Gosh, and why do you call her that? Why, because those who find her favor are inevitably rewarded with good fortune beyond, re ima beyond imagining. What is more, her presence on the battlefield alone is enough to boost the courage and determination of those who fight besides her a hundredfold. Wow, that's gonna be great for us if we can get her in our, our uh, kingdom. Crikey, sounds like she's got something special going on, eh? Yes. Yeah, that really does sound rather impressive, Miss Yo Ho Ho. I don't suppose you'd like to come and join us in, over in Evermore, would you? So you've come here to recruit me. But my young friend, I am nothing but a simple lady gambler. Somewhat blessed by the gods of fortune, it is true, but a mere dabbler in the arts of chance nonetheless. So? Still, I am rather amused by the idea that you would have me come, have me join your forces, and rather flattered. So you'll come over our way, is it? That, that there's lovely. Not so fast, spiky one. The goddess of good luck does not simply switch allegiance on a whim. No, she requires persuasion. An incentive, if you will. Flip it, Ackman. <laughs> All that pampering's gone into her head. <laughs> As it so happens, I was just thinking that I would rather like some new footwear. Bring me some gaudy galoshes and I might consider you an offer. She's a bit unusual, isn't she? It doesn't sound like she'd be a good person to have on board though. Or does. Uh, well, I ain't about to say I like her style, but I suppose you're right. Uh, she might come in handy one day. Let's go and get her new wellies then, ain't it? Okay, do we have those right now? Probably not. Uh, the goddess of good luck. Yo Ho Ho is considered one of the lucky stars of Lucky Star Casino's very best gamblers and has a gaggle of hangers on to show for it. It seems she's also a demon with a spear and would make a fine addition to the Evermorian army. But talent like that doesn't come for free. Give the pair of gaudy galoshes to Yo-Ho-Ho. -Ho. I don't know if I have one of those right now, but I'll go ahead and just like talk to her again and see what ends up happening. Um, I was just thinking yeah, I would rather like some new footwear. Yeah, I don't have them right now, I guess. Oh no, I do! Gale-proof gaudy galoshes! Sure, I'll give it to you. If you want it. Excuse me? We brought the gaudy galoshes you wanted, Yo-Ho-Ho. -ho. Oh. Well, well, perhaps I underestimated you. Perhaps I should accept your offer to move to Ever. Whoa. Wait. We can't allow our beloved mistress, Yo-Ho-Ho, -ho, to go anywhere unless we are assured that she will be safe. She must be adequately equipped to keep her from undue harm, or she cannot be allowed to leave. Quite right. Here, here. Gosh. Uh. Yeah. You heard my beloved admirers. It would seem that you have a little little choice but to deck me out in yet more finery. Here's what I propose. Bring me some warlord's armor, a suit of such supreme quality I will ensure that I am protected no matter what fate befalls your kingdom. Flip man. Thanks for putting the idea in our head, bootlickers. Hmm. Weird. Uh, well, they do seem very fond of her and it certainly wouldn't hurt to make sure that she's well protected. Fine, fine, but don't let this give you any ideas about making people come bowing and scraping to you like that, you hear? Come on, Mon, let's find us some Warlord's Armor. Let's see if we have this. I don't think we do, but yeah. we might. Uh, would be so good to bring me a suit of Warlord's Armor. That's That way I shall be protected no matter what fate befalls your kingdom. We do actually have blaze-proof Warlord's Armor. This is just lucky. I mean, it's really expensive Hello. stuff, I'm sure. Um, but it's oh. worth it if we can get a quest oh. done. <laughs> he brought it for her. Oh. 
this is most unexpected. But, but does, does this mean? Yep. I must say, you seem very keen for me to join you. I admire your enthusiasm. Bring me one last item and the deal will be sealed. I will move to your kingdom. Flip it up! Give this one an inch and she'll take a flippin' mile. <laughs> Things change, what can I say now? The item I have in mind is a particularly elegant weapon known as a prism spear. <gasps> a prism spear? But my lady, does this mean surely not? Mm -hmm. What's the matter? Come now, let's not waste any more time. I've decided that it is a prism spear that I want, and so a prism spear is what you must bring me. All right, fine. But I'm telling you now, Lizzie, this is the last errand we're running for you, right? Now come on, Evan, let's go and grab this prism spear thing before she decides she wants something else as well. I'm gonna guess this one's gonna be difficult to get, and I have no idea where to get it, so I just gotta hope I have it. There's one more item I'm gonna desire, it's a prism spear. I don't have that one, no, you stinker. Jeez, she finally found something I don't have. Uh, what about you? Ha <laughs> <laughs> harf, the casino floor is filled to bursting uh, with tourists once more. It is sure to be another day of bumper profits. But I wish myself, I myself were a little less busy. It is my son's birthday soon, and I have not had, I have not had the chance to buy him a present. The poor little pup. Oh. Oh, you have a son? Which is why I want to get him an extra special birthday present this year to make up for all the times that I have not been there for him. But I worry that I will not have the time to go and fetch it. I'd be happy to help. For a second, I thought that was a dog still. Herv, you would do such a thing for me? Oh, thank you. If you could go to Broadleaf in my stead, I would be grateful indeed. Oh. Oh, why Broadleaf? Well, a visitor from for that kingdom informed me that their latest toy, some sort of magic yo-yo, is incredibly popular with young pups everywhere. Alas, they are only available to buy in Broadleaf itself. Gosh. What can, can this yo-yo do? To be honest, I have no idea, but you need only ask the toy shop there. They are sure to be familiar with all the latest trends. I would give you the necessary funds, of course. Please, my boy really deserves this present after all he has had to endure. You must help me. Okay. I have an interesting haircut. A 10,000 guilders, holy cow. All right, we'll head for Broadly right away. I'm actually quite curious to see what kind of toys they have myself. Yeah, he is a <laughs> child after all. Then we have an agreement, excellent. You will be making my son very happy indeed. Awesome, the perfect present. Work obsessed croupier is a client. Uh, a croupier at the Lucky Stars Casino is always so busy with work that he doesn't have enough time to spend with his son. He wants to give him a special birthday present to make up for this and he wants Evan to go and buy it for him. Cool, we'll make this directive quest for now. I don't know how far away that is, we'll check the map, if it's somewhere nearby. I still don't know what's with everybody being knocked out. I'll have to deal with that at some point. Uh. Okay, so, yeah, it's not around here. So we'll worry about that later. We're gonna go ahead and get to the top of, uh. okay, so we're up here now. Oh, it's the king, or is he the prince? I can't remember. Yeah, P, yeah. Are you saying that defending the city would uh, should be our sole concern? You do understand that things as th things stand, only those bearing weapons dare venture beyond our walls. But we cannot in good conscience dispatch our soldiers on a dangerous mission into a foreign territory. The losses could be catastrophic. Excuse me? Is something the matter? Wow. Uh, you are King Evan, yes? The former ruler of Ding Dong Dell? Good day, your majesty. We were just discussing the problem with the bandits who have taken to attacking our outposts and travelers near our kingdom's borders. Yes. Yes, and I am insisting that we must take the fight to them. We must destroy their lair or they will continue to grow ever stronger. But Yapi, you must understand, the bandits' lair is too close to Ding Dong Dell. To take military action within the territory of another realm would be most unwise. What choice do we have? Not everyone has the luxury of hiding behind thick walls. Not all of the, all, all are as fortunate as the citizens of, citizens of Goldpaw. I like this guy, he's nice. Uh, we have great martial might at our disposal. If we did not use it to protect those who cannot protect themselves, how can we claim to be just as just and noble people? Hmm. You make a very good point, Yapi. If you would like to borrow some of my soldiers, you would be more than welcome. King Evan, you are a great man indeed. It would be a privilege to have my uh, my forces alongside those of your honored realm. My men and I will go ahead and scout out the enemy's location. Let us rendezvous on the Ding Dong Dell side of Cloud Coil Canyon. Wow, okay. 
Well, looks like we got a little thing there. Uh, Yap, he the proud soldier. Yeah, yeah, so he's not a, not a prince or anything. He looks like it, but I think he's just supposed to be a commander. Yapi, a proud member of Gold Paul's army, is determined to defeat a gang of bandits who are threatening his beloved homeland. He has assembled his troops and is ready to march into battle, but if Evan were to join him, victory would be guaranteed. Wow, we get a chilly radiant blade for winning this one. 10,000 experience sounds great as well. We'll make it our active quest, but I, I might deal with other things first. And then we've dealt with everything when it comes to this area of the game. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to another spot. I think that the next best place, we'll check out Captain Up and Hull and see if there's any quests there. We'll just go to every major teleport port spot and see if there's any quests. I'm sure there's like quests in the overworld as well, but this is the best I can do for right now. There is a quest right at the end of the dock. This game just likes to make me do some running, that's for sure. Evan has gotten his cardio in during this adventure, to say the least. Okay, but I'm glad we'll have a ton of quests to do. That'll make things pretty useful. So I think it's this older gentleman. Looks like it. Arf, arf, I love the smell of the sea. It is the sweet smell of victory. I don't like the look of this mun. Oh no, this, is, this isn't a dog anymore. You know what they say about folks who talk to themselves, ain't it? Huh? Ah, it seems the word of the rebirth of the mighty Pawa has spread. You have done well to seek me out. The mighty, um, who? Pawa, the greatest canine of them all, the hero of dog folk everywhere. His bark could shatter continents, and his bite was even worse. He was a bona fide legend. And now he has been reborn. Yes, you are looking at none other than the reincarnation of Pawa himself. Gosh. Wow. I suppose he must be very strong then. <laughs> Very strong, arf arf. You have no idea, little boy. Still, it is always a pleasure to meet an admirer. These are the encounters that make a pilgrimage such as this worthwhile. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Giz, giz, giz a moment by here. So you really reckon you're this powwow bloke born again? He speaks so weirdly. Lofty, shush. Far, far, fear not, little boy. It's quite normal to doubt one's eyes when in the presence of greatness. Fortunately, I am prepared to prove myself. I am prepared to create one of Pow Wah's most legendary feats. Namely, the single digit smiting of the wolves. Huh? Single digit? Oh, you mean like a finger, ain't it? <laughs> exactly so. In days of yore, Pow Wah famously defeated the, a pack of wolves that were terrorizing this area using nothing but his little finger. And now you're going to do that? And now I shall do the same, and there will be no doubt that I am in indeed his reincarnation. I cannot wait, and I can wait no longer. Sweet victory beckons. Oh, he seems pretty fun. And he's running off. Mm. Off he goes. Do you really think he's going to try and poke some wolves? Sounds like it, yeah. Mind you, the only wolves he'll find around here are the hedgehounds. And I wouldn't like to see anyone take on one of them with just a little finger. It'll get bitten right off, Mun. We should go and make sure he's all right before something awful happens. You went wrong there. I <laughs> reckon we should, yeah? Come on, boy, my boy, follow the da that dog. Okay. This is another quest we got going on right now, right? Wolf Poker Incarnate. On a seaside cliff near Capstan stands a young man with a, a burning ambition to follow in the footsteps of a mighty warrior of yore. He's headed off to a cave full of hedgehounds without a single weapon or piece of armor to his name. Even Evan had better get after him and make sure nothing terrible happens. All right, well, that one sounds interesting as well. But like I said, we're just right now trying to take up some quests. Before we move on to actually doing them, go to each area and try to make sure that everything is going as well as possible. Okay, so here we are in Hydropolis, and there is somebody in this in this store right here that I can talk to. Hello. Uh, um, excuse Beatus. me. Beatus, do you perhaps fe feel a little better now? Yes, the pain has eased, thank you. Honestly, Thetis, you are a miracle worker. You are surely the finest Dr. Hydropolis has ever seen. Thanks. Such kind works, thank thank you. Now remember, you are to focus on your recovery. Do not overexert yourself under any circumstances. Hmm, okay, so she's a doctor. Hi. Good day, is there something that ails you? Something I can help you with? Oh no, we were just curious about what you were doing, that's all. I see, well, as you have no doubt realized, I am a doctor. My name is Thetis, I was simply ministering the re to a regular patient of mine. You may not have heard, but it has recently been discovered that some of us merfolk begin to become sick when we spend prolonged periods out of the water. Wow. Of course. 
Of course, having been confined within Hydropolis for so long, your kind have not had cause to spend any significant time on land. Indeed, but the laws have now changed and merfolk are free to travel as they please. However, there are still those who prefer not to venture outside of for, of, for fear of becoming ill, as their kinfolk have. Gosh. That's such a shame. Is there anything we can do to help them? Excuse me? As a matter of fact, there is. I have recently concocted a potion that I hope will prevent merfolk from suffering any ill effects when outside the water, but it requires one final ingredient. Mm. Really? Well, I'm sure I can. we can find it for Thanks. you. That would be wonderful. The ingredient in question is called deep sea water. It is to be found in a cave on an inlet in a part of the world that receives far less sunlight than Hydropolis. Yes. A cave on an inlet in a part of a world that receives less sunlight than Hydropolis. I know precisely the place, Tidewash Cave, on the coast of the Eider, Eider Towns. Come, Evan, let us out the right way, R out right away. Okay, let me talk to you to make sure we don't already have it. Thetis, medicinal mer person. Thetis, a doctor from Hydropolis, is always busy attending to her patient's various needs, but has recently discovered a formula for a new medicine that would allow merfolk to spend extended time on dry land. She just mi she's just missing one crucial ingredient. Can Evan step in and save the day? Get some jars of deep sea, er, yeah, deep sea water from Tidewash Cave. Okay, let me talk to yeah. you really quickly. Yeah, yeah, I don't have it. Okay, had to make sure. Who else can we talk to then? Uh, It looks like you, the storekeeper maybe, hmm. I would think. Uh, What am I to do? I cannot simply walk away and leave the taverna unattended. Is everything all right? You look a little worried. Hey! Oh, please, you must help me. I'm in an in most terrible bind. A letter came for me today, you see. A letter unlike any I've ever received before. Gosh, what was so unusual about it? Here, see for yourself. I cannot begin to make sense of what it means. All right. All right, let's take a look. Hark, an angel has descended from above. Verily, she is more pure than the dove. Every night when I close my eyes to sleep, her face floats into view and I low, and lo, I, I weep. I cannot live without knowing my sweet. My passion burns with intolerable heat. Come to me on my perch above the bay, and my heart's truth to you I will say. Oh wow, you gotta love her. Reckons himself quite a poet, doesn't he, this fellow? Hmm. Am I really going to go and see him on his perch above the ocean? But there's so much I do not understand. Why does he wish to meet? What does he expect of me? <laughs> I'd say his intentions were fairly clear based on, the let on that letter. Please, you must assist me. You must go in my place and investigate. I cannot go myself as I'm unable to leave the taverna. All right, I'll be back as soon as I've spoken to him. Thanks. Oh, thank you, thank you, and please, you must accept my apologies for having to involve you in my personal affairs. Oi! You do know what we're dealing with by, by your, don't you, Evan? Hmm. Of course I do, it's a love letter. And tragically enough, the only person who doesn't seem to realize that it's, it, that is the person who received it. We should go and talk to whoever sent it. They must be desperate to know what's going on. You went wrong there. <laughs> All right, let's go and find our pin and romantic. He speaks so weirdly. Okay, return to Ascender. The girl who works at the Taverno, Taverna Akalos has received a various, very curious letter. The, its author appears to have been fueled by a burning passion, but sadly, its recipient hasn't really gotten the message. The time for Evan to go and straighten things out. Okay. Time for Evan to do that then. So let us figure out what else. Oh my gosh, there's so many quests. And I missed one down there. I don't think I can go from here. So we got like 10 more around here. Okay, so we got these two missions over here. Looks like two little kids. Hi. Oh. Oh, hello. What are you doing in Hydropolis? Where are your parents? <laughs> we came here with our father, but we liked playing here so much we decided to stay behind. Tis a veritable paradise. I don't think that's a good idea. Hi, that it is. Excuse me. Oh yeah, these people are from. Upston Hall. Oh dear, everyone must be worried sick about you. Children should be wandering around in faraway kingdoms all by themselves, you know? Now, why don't you take, I take you back to the Sky Pirate base? Huh? Not on your life, matey. You're a child yourself, curse you. <laughs> and here you are going hither and thither <laughs> with, a, with nary a grow up to watch over you. How come, now come along and play, will ya? <laughs> Yahar, I come along and play. I'm sorry, but I didn't come here to play, and I really don't have time, so if you... Hey! What's that now? Sorry, I can't hear you. If you want to listen, you'll have to beat me in a race. Oh boy. 
Yeah, all right, a race. Well, maybe all we right. should do this one now if it's a race. Fine, I'll race you if you must, but if I win, you're coming with me to the Sky, pa Sky Pirate Space, all right? Deal, hee <laughs> hee. Just let us know when you're ready to start the race. Oh mm. uh, yeah, we're ready to go whenever. Okay. Head to head in Hydropolis. While walking around Hydropolis, Evan comes across a pair of brothers. Are they boys? Okay. Uh, two young Sky Pirates who should be back at the base with their parents. He's keen to take them home, but they refuse to come with him unless he can beat the, the older brother in a race. Can he find a way of getting to the finish line first? Um, Maybe we could do that some other time, I'm not really sure. Let's talk to you first at the least. Please, please, you must tell me I'm ever so worried about poor Draken. Draken, who's that? He is my pet lizard and my best friend in all of the world. My mean old older brother or old mother does not like him. She says he is dangerous and refuses to allow me to keep him in the house. I have to keep him hidden in a secret place. But then my mother found this out and forbade me from ever going near it. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, so who's looking after him now? Yeah. I don't know. My mother has been watching me like a hawk. I have not had the chance to sneak off and see him. Poor Dar Draken. He is unused to the ways of the world, and I doubt that he can cope without me. I fear that he is wailing with hunger as we speak. Gosh. I see why you're worried. Listen, why don't we go ahead and go and check on him for you? Woo! You would do that? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, and please give this to Draken when you see him. <laughs> Dra Draken's favorite snack, apparently. Jeez. It's his favorite snack. He always likes to have some, have one to chew on, and he will be delighted to receive a fresh supply. <laughs> Great, thank you. So where exactly is the secret hiding place? In Coral Cave. It is a grotto situated on Macronas, an island east of here. The area can be a little treacherous, so please be careful. You will know him by the collar I gave him. It has a silver heart on it. All right. A silver heart, you say, all right. We'll go and see how Draken Drak is doing and report back to you as soon as we can. Yeah. Wonderful, I will be waiting for you here. Okay, so, nice, Draken in distress. A kind-hearted girl from Hydropolis is worried about her pet lizard, which she keeps in a nearby cave. Her mother has forbidden her from going to visit it, and so it's up to Evan to head on over there and make sure everything is all right. Look for Draken in Coral Cave. Awesome. Uh, we don't really need to do it for now, but that seems to be about it that way. So we're gonna wrap around the other way. Oh yeah, so, okay. There's just so many, there's so many quests around here. I'm sorry if the rest of today's episode might just be a bunch of reading, but it's stuff we inevitably have to do, especially if we need 50 citizens. A lot of these quests, I don't even know if they're citizen quests, you know? Like some of them are, some of them not. And that's sort of the ridiculous part of it. So we probably wanna go down to the left first. See, so yeah, we'll go this way. Grab whatever this is, a pebble. Pebbles are good. I do need to go to the guy who gives us pebbles, or will give us candies for pebbles. Hi. Hi. You have come from across the mighty ocean, yes? Would you care to tell me of the kingdom from whence you hail? My kingdom, well, it's a brand new nation that my friends and I set up in the heartlands. People from all over the world are moving there to live. By the gods, yes! This would be a most wonderful place, I am sure of it. Imagine all the people and things from all the nations of our world one would be able to see there. You'd be more than welcome to come and live there if you'd like. Really, you would allow me to reside in your kingdom? I've always wanted a sample life. Sample life? To sample life. Outside Hydropolis, I must say. Alas, I must refuse your kind offer. <sighs> My mother would never allow me to go, you see. What? Really, I'm sure you could persuade her though, couldn't you? If you explained everything, I mean. Yeah. I'm afraid that, that, that it is out of the question. My mother has made it clear that I am not to leave Hydropolis under any circumstances. You're here, Evan, now, or how about we go and have a word with this mom, eh? I'm sure we can make her see sense. I mean, if she's a child, maybe not. Myla's big adventure, Myla, or Mylas, okay, yeah, Mylas. A kind-hearted young merman from Hydropolis is ever so excited about crossing the ocean and visiting Evermore, but he can't quite bring himself to go because he thinks his mother would worry about him. Can Evan persuade her to let her son go off on his big adventure? Hopefully. Um, maybe we can continue that at some point. Oh, okay, if she's right here, we'll go ahead and continue the conversation just because it's easy enough. Hmm. Absolutely not. I didn't even get to say anything. But, 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 but we haven't even asked you anything yet. 
Mm. I heard every word of your little chat with Milus. Yes, I was spying on him, but it is for his own good. That would that world outside Hydropolis is far too dangerous for my little boy. He must remain here, and that is final. Flip it, Ackman! I've heard an, of overprotective parents, but this whole this is a whole new level. And it's such a shame. Milus seemed uh, so keen to travel. I wish I could grant his wish, but I am petrified of what might happen. I myself have not dared to leave Hydropolis in years. No harm will come to your son in my kingdom, I promise. Honestly, it's just as safe as Hydropolis. <sighs> hmm, I suppose I have no reason to, not to believe you, and you are a king after all. Fine, I will allow Milus to journey to your kingdom, but on one condition. He must have a new outfit before he travels, something to keep him safe from harm. Would you be so good as to fetch the materials I require? <laughs> Of course, that won't be a problem at all. Very well, please bring me three bolts of seraphic silk. That is all I require. I shall wait for you here in return. How many do I have? Hello. Um, I wish to make my son a new outfit that will protect him on his travels. I will need three bolts of seraphic silk in order to do so. Can you provide me with them? I have four, so yes, I can. Okay, so here's three of them. Oh. Ah, I see that you have brought them me the material I requested. Seraphic Silk takes protective charms very well, you see. I shall feel much better about Milus' journey knowing that he has an outfit made of it. Very cool. <laughs> Looks a little silly, gotta be honest. Love his hair, though. Very luscious. My mother, this, this robe, is it? Yes, my dear. It is a robe of just the kind our family has have always donned before setting out on their travels. Wow. Mother? It suits you, my boy. Thank you for your assistance, your majesty. Now that my son has the robe, I can rest safely knowing that no harm will befall him en route to your kingdom. Mm. I, I feel a bit bad about taking him so far away. <sighs> Nonsense, all you have done is make me feel, see the error of my ways. You've reminded me that the world outside Hydropolis is nothing to be frightened of. I'm so terribly sorry, Milus. I should have never prevented you from following your dreams. I hope that now you can live the life that you've always wanted. Oh, mother, thank you, and thank you too, King Evan. I cannot wait to start my new life in your kingdom. Okay, awesome. So there's that quest done. Not too much stuff for that, but I'll take it nonetheless. Miles is now a citizen, which is the biggest thing. So actually, I wanted to check that. Oh, maybe it's a little too late, but uh, I didn't read uh, Miles' description. Maybe I can check in the completed quests. Uh. Oh, right here, right here. Uh, yeah, so here's Milo, Milus, he's a merfolk, homeland hydropolis, occupation sorcerer, nice! An uncanny knack for conjury that can help boost work at the Hubble Bubblery. Really glad to see that, we need more people at the Hubble Bubblery. Can't pronounce that, but I did my best. Am I going the right way? I don't think I am. I gotta go this way and do a couple more. So we actually got a quest done, and got an extra person. So that's our, what, our 22nd person in total? That's a big fish. So we gotta talk to you. Yep, hello. Good day to you. Greetings, young sir, and welcome to the Taverna Calamari, where the finest f f refreshments in all of Hydropolis are to be found. You appear to have come a far, uh, from a faraway kingdom, in which case it would be an absolute tragedy if you were to return without dining with us. <laughs> I like the sound of that, Evan Mun. Let's fill our bellies with your, by your here, <laughs> before we think about doing anything else. <laughs> yes, let's. It would be a shame not to sample some of the local cuisine while we're here. Boosh, right out then, we'll have two of whatever you recommend, Antid. Well, ordinarily, I would recommend the Medusa's hair pasta, especially the f to first time visitors, but I am sorry to say that we are currently sold out. What? Sold out, Mun! After all that song and dance about how this place is the best for miles around, you're telling me that we can't have the house special? Believe me, it pains me to be unable to serve it to you, but without the necessary ingredients, this there is little we can do. Of course, if we were to bring them to if you were to bring them to us, we could offer a, a reward in addition to a delicious meal. Really, you mean it? No word of a lie, like? Absolutely, I would never lie about the matter of, of such importance. Yeah. Well then, that's it, ain't it, Evan? Let's go and get her the ingredients she needs so we can get a crack at this hairy pasta nonsense. Mm. All right. Okay. Wonderful. Now the first thing we will need is some octopuses. Three, in fact. Oh. oh so, so octopuses. Huh? What's the matter, Evan Mun? You're not scared of them, are you? Mm. To be honest, I am rather. It's with the way the tentacles wriggle. Don't worry, though. I'll be able to eat them if they're mixed up in 
A nice sauce, I, I think. <laughs> well, if you don't like the look of yours when it comes, I'll be happy to scoff it off of you. W what? Uh, waste not one, not end it. Okay. That's not fair. Anyway, as I say, I'll be able to eat it, I'm sure. I can assure you that you will. Now, I will wait, wait for you here. Remember, three octopuses. Do I have any? We're gonna find out. The, bee, the best seafood in Sea Town. Evan and company are keen to sample this, a seafood dish known as Medusa's hair. Unfortunately, the Taverna Calamari, where the dish is served, is running low on ingredients. If Evan wants to hardle, a hearty, wants a hearty plate of pasta, he's going to have to fetch the ingredients himself. So let's go ahead and talk to you. Thank you. you. Uh, do I have any? Nope. So I'm out of here. We're gonna go ahead and do this quest over here with this lady that's leaning against the wall. You look like another person from uh, Capstan. Oh, woe is me. Why will this dark fog that engulfs my heart not clear? Are you all right? You look a little troubled. I'm afraid you are correct. You see, I have the late I have of late found myself consumed with a desire to become closer to a fishman named Glaucus. And have you told him oh. this? Uh, of course not. My heart would tear itself in two were I to force myself to make such a confession. Gosh, so what are you trying to do? I do not know which is why my days and nights are filled with endless sorrow and confusion. <sighs> I'm a driver and he is a fisherman, so we often encounter each other out on upon the ocean. Alas, he re appears to be rather a ta taciturn man, I don't know what that means, uh, and we have never exchanged so, so much of as a polite word. Oh, if only I knew how he felt about me. At this rate, I fear that I shall drive myself mad attempting to guess at his true hmm. feelings. Would you like me to go and talk to him huh? for you? Y you would do such a thing? Oh, that would be wonderful, simply wonderful. But please, he must not know that you are asking on my behalf. You must be tactful, I beg of you. Sure, the way to a man's heart. Sibylla, a driver from Hydropolis, has fallen head over heels in love with a man named Glaucus. But he, but she dare not tell him how she feels for fear of rejection. Can he help, or can Evan help her uh, take the first steps on the path to achieving her dream? Talk to Glaucus. Okay, well maybe we could do that soon. I think that's actually, no, not all of them. Oh my gosh, there's still more. All right, so it looks like we got a couple more here and then I know in the actual area itself there are a couple more as well. So what do you guys have to say? Good day to you. Greetings to you, honored customer, and welcome to the Halamede's Hair Salon. What color shall I dye your, dye your hair oh. today? D dye my hair? Um, no thank you, I'm quite fond of it as it is. Hmm. You are not here to dye your hair, then wait, I recognize you. You're the young king who made the public proposal, are you not? Ha <laughs> ha, look at that, Evan Mun. You're the talk of the town. Hang on a minute, though. She's a hairdresser, ain't it? I know of a few people in Evermore who've been hankering after a fancy new do. Evermore, ah, you wish for me to move there. Yes, I am flattered, of course, but I am far too busy to leave my salon at the moment. And besides, I have no interest in working with people who have no appreciation of beauty. Cheeky so-and-so, I'll have you know that we loves a bit of beauty over our way. Very well, then you will have no trouble in proving it by bringing me the hue blooms I require. <laughs> Too flippin' right we won't, come on Evan, he's so competitive. Let's show our friend by here, by here we've got a proper eye for, for color. But Lofty, I'm not even sure what the, oh, all right then, and you're right. We could do with a hairdresser and Evermore. <laughs> It would, it would appear that we have an agreement, excellent. Bring me a, a hue bloom with a cool blue color reminiscent of the ocean surrounding Hydropolis. Okay, new quest, Sense and Sensibilities. Halamid has a reputation as the best hairdresser in Hydropolis, but she's also known for her extract, for extracting or exacting standards when it came, comes to aesthetic matters. If Evan and Lofty are to stand any chance of persuading her to move to Evermore, they're going to need to show her that they know a thing or two about beauty. Give Halamid a hue bloom with a cool blue color reminiscent of the ocean. Let's see if I can't hey. just hand it over now. Do I have one? Ooh, sapphire, you blew my five of them, is that good enough? Ah, wonderful, cool and blue and perfectly reminiscent of the ocean surrounding Hydropolis. Uh. This is exactly the hue bloom I had in mind. You did well to find it. <laughs> well, we... That's right, man. It was a piece of cake, man. Told you we had proper eye, a good eye for color. <laughs> Excellent, it will stand you in good stead for my next request. Oh gosh, there's more. What? More flipping errands. 
Any Philistine could pick up a correct hue bloom once. It proves nothing, and I simply must know that my future king has an appreciation for beauty I require. Gah, fair enough, I suppose. Better safe than sorry and all that. Very well, the next hue bloom I would like you to bring me shines at the midday sun. If your appreciation for beauty is as well owned as you claim, you should have no problem finding it. Okay, so let's see if we have this one. Ah, oh, we don't have a yellow one. Yeah, that stinks. Oh well, well, I'll have to come back to you. Let's move on to our next candidate. Uh, they're not, okay, they're up on the roof, I guess, or the, the tower, or whatever it is. Okay, maybe there's one nearby. Always gotta grab these materials while I can. Handful of glam clams. Like, you never know when we're gonna run into something that might actually help us for a quest. Oh no, this is actually down below. Interesting. Hello. Okay, there's a child. Hello, child. Hi. Greetings, I am Pontus, the finest oceanographer in all of Hydropolis. I know all there is to know about all things oceanic. Crikey. You're not short on confidence, are you? Hey. Henny, and why would I be? I'm a genius, so much so that I already know exactly why you have approached me. You wish to become my assistant, do you not? What? Your assistant? Alas, I received counsel's applications such as yours. That This being so, I must separate the wheat from from the chaff, you must complete the challenges I said to you, said to you, and prove yourself worthy as of this prestigious role. Yeah. Challenge one: find a venomous fish and bring it to me. What the? Fuck? Hang, hang about, mon. Are we starting already? Mm. I have a poisonous fish. Now that really is a challenge. Okay, Pontus' ocean, ocean, or uh, ocean of knowledge. Pontus prides himself for being the being the finest marine biologist in all of Hydropolis, and he wants to set Evan some challenges to prove his knowledge of life beneath the waves. He's willing to make Evan his assistant if he gets all the answers right, and he might even move to Evermore. Show Pontus the item he's asked for. Do we have it? Oh, okay, so wait. Uh, a hue, no wait, give how, okay, I got the wrong quest, hold on. Um, <laughs> so yeah, what is he looking for again? Let me just talk to him. Find a venomous fish and bring it to me. Uh, a skittish fish that tastes of mud, though it would rather you didn't find out. A fresh fish, mild flavor, makes it suitable for, okay, frilly fish, oil and crystal waters. Joy is said to await those who catch one. Swashbuckling swordfish of the high seas, wilder fish make for a tastier dish. Uh, no, I don't have one. Okay, never mind. I'll have to come back. Right now, I don't have the fish you're looking for. So that's like all the quests in this immediate area. No, there's one at the very bottom that I totally missed. I'll have to go back for that, gosh darn it. Um, and beyond that, there are some in the uh, main center area. So I'll go for those ones now because they're a little bit closer just to walk on over to. And then maybe I could teleport to the other ones. That'd be nice, I don't know. Uh, for now though, let's just head this way and head into the building and try to talk to the people who need me. My audience awaits or something. Oh, we just jumped down like half that staircase. Are your ankles okay, Evan? I hope so. So yeah, we're heading down here, or is this not it? Oh yeah, that's right, I have to like teleport in. Yes, yes I would. Okay, so hopefully everything goes well with doing these quests. At this rate, by the time I'm done setting up all the quests I can find, I will have to be done for the day, but we'll find out. Okay, oh wait, no, no, okay, for a second I thought that was a quest person. It's not. You are though, hello. <sighs> Lacurious. Oh, why do I feel so powerless? How can I How can I myself become a heroine if I'm a, unable to help those in need? Mm -hmm. A heroine? Oh. What? what, who said that? Oh, it was you, please, you must not surprise me in that matter when I am deep in thought. Oh. Oh, I am ever so sorry, um, my name's Evan. Yeah. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, my name is Lacorius. I'm a guard here at the palace. I may not be the biggest, but my skill with the spear makes up for my lack of stature. And you're pretty tall compared to Evan. And very tall compared to Lofty. Oh, you can use a spear. You know, we could really do with someone like you over in our new kingdom. Why don't you come and join us? I am honored, yet I must refuse. You see, for all my bluster, I fear I would be of little use to your kingdom. Really, what do you mean? Hmm. Of late, many citizens of Hydropolis have spoken of a frightening monster that has been causing chaos. A monster? That's terrible. Someone needs to go and deal with it right away. My sentiments exactly. W would that m I myself were able to go and put an end to this its murderous rampage? Alas, it's impossible. 
I am a palace guard, you see. My duty is to remain here and ensure that Queen Naria comes to no harm. So you want to go and help these people, but you're duty bound to stay here and guard the palace. That does sound like a rather tricky situation. Yeah. Ever since I was a girl, I have wanted to be a heroine, to rescue people from the clutches of evil. In fact, that is precisely why I took to this job. Little did I know that it would, in fact, render me in incapable of assisting people in their hour of need. I have an idea. Why don't we go and deal with the monster for you, Lacorius? You? It's kind of you to offer, but I must advise you not to attempt something so reckless. I would never forgive myself if you were injured. Oh, we'll be fine. Don't worry. Now you can tell us. Now can you tell us where the monster is? Hmm. It has been most often seen terrorizing the area around Macronus, I believe. But do you really mean what you say? Are you truly intending to go and fight it? Hmm. Of course we are. We'll take care of it and report back to you right away. Okay, so there's that. Lacorius the Doubtful Guard. Ever since she was a little girl, Lacorius has wanted to be a heroine. She is now a guard at the palace, but often finds herself torn between her duties and her desire to help people in need. Lately, she's been very concerned about a monster that's been terrorizing Hydropolis. Can Evan do something to help? Defeat Dampo. Okay, we'll do that soon. And finally, we got one last mission to take, and I know the second to last mission to take in Hydropolis. Hey. It is you, the boy from my dream. Please, you must take me with you. Oh! Wait, what are you doing? What do you mean? I am doing what you told me to do. You told me in my dream that I should follow you. I, I spoke to you in your dream? Oh my. Huh? Speo, my child. You say that you have heard a voice in your dream, the voice of a boy telling you to awaken and to follow him? Yes. Yes, Sister Kalinera. Hmm. <sighs> but my dear child. That's why your brother's, that, that was your brother's voice. You overslept, did you not? He was attempting to ensure that you would not be late for prayers. I, I do not believe it. It was certain that I have received the message from the gods at last. Excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm not quite sure I quite understand what's happening here. Yes. That is no surprise. This must all be rather alien to one unfamiliar with the ways of Hydropolis. My name is Kalianera, and I am a priestess, and this is Speo, my apprentice. While our skills pale in comparison to those of Queen Naria, we do share some of the same abilities, among them the power to commune with the gods and with nature. It is our duty to use these powers for good. Greeky. This there's for virtuous, but the dreams the little one we're talking about sounds like it was the real deal, eh? Unfortunately not, Speo has yet to complete her training. Her abilities must be own, honed before for, for honed further before she is fully ready to communicate with her heavens. Yeah. Sister Kalianera is correct, of course. I still have much to learn, but I am determined to learn it. I want to help people. I want to help you, King Evan, just as Queen Naria has instructed us to. Mm. Queen Naria told, told you to help me, gosh. Sister Kalianera, is Speo close to completing her training? What more does she need to do? If I can help at all, I'd be more than happy to. That is most magna magnanimous of you, your majesty. The situation is as followed. A priestess cannot be ordained until she has heard the whisperings of that emanate from the seashell known as the sea god's trumpet. Alas, the labyrinth in which the trumpet is kept has become terribly dangerous. Since you have offered to help, perhaps you would be so good to accompany Speo there? Mm. I would be honored. Well, Speo, shall we? Yes, I, fi I will find the trumpet and I will become a fine upstanding priestess dedicated to serving you, King Evan. Cool. Speo, the priestess in training. Speo has her heart set on being ordained a priestess, but in order to complete her training, she must travel to Louis 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 P's labyrinth and listen to the whisperings of something known as Sea God's trumpet. It is a perilous journey, however, and the young and the young trainee priestess will require an escort. Speak to Speo in Louis P's labyrinth. Okay, we'll do that soon. Not now. Okay, so I'm gonna run all the way down and do the last quest to set up, and hopefully everything turns out well with that. Oh, okay, this is, I didn't mean to talk to this person, but I need to check this out. Um, This may be an odd question, but did you send a letter to the lady who works at the Taverno Aquilos? Okay, the Taverna lady. Oi. And what if I did? What, what business is, is it of yours? I did not expect to bring a little boy running. I will have you know that I'm waiting for my one true love. Uh. Yes, well, that's the thing. I'm not sure your message quite got through. What, you have read it, but how? 
Ha, I see you love her too, oh, do you not? You used to un some underhanded trick to, why you, puh, why do I care? You believe yourself a worthy rival for her love, ridiculous. Why, I bet you're not even strong enough to defeat, um, let me see, ah, a Kalos. Yes, the monster with which the Taverna shares its name. Hmm? A Kalos, he does sound rather imposing. Yeah. Of course he does, he is a very imposing creature, a truly fe ferocious beast, consumed with darkness and evil, infected by it even. Look, I just came here to tell you that, ha, you seek to make excuses already, pathetic, look at you, you are terrified. <sighs> what, no I'm not, why would you say something like that? Oh, your pride has been stung, has it? How very tragic. Wait, is that a tear I see in your eye? Well, there's no use crying, the only way out of this is to prove that you are no coward. See, seek out a Kalos and destroy him. Fine, I will, I'm not scared in the slightest. For sake, Mun, we only came by here to tell him about his super letter and now we're off chasing flipping monsters to prove a point. Indeed we are, you jerk. Side quest updated, Re return to sender. So we'll deal with that later. That would just happen to be there when I was walking through. Cause I always pay attention, you can see on the dots in the minimap, some of them are blue, some of them will be white-ish blue, and that means it's sort of a part of a quest, so we might as well talk to it. Um, And it's you, oh, you're a painter. How are you doing? Um. Oh, you appear to be a stranger in these parts. Well, how do you do? Um, my name is Hippono. I'm an artist. Oh. An artist, that's wonderful. Can I see what you're working on? Oh. No, you must not look, it, it is not yet complete. Oh, all right, well, I'd love to see it once you're finished. Yeah. I'm afraid you may be waiting for some time for that. Oh. oh. But, but listen, there is something I would like to share with you. You see, I am terribly shy, too shy to even to venture out and seek the help I need. Yeah, and? Oh, I see where this is going, spit it out, will you? What are you after, hmm? Yeah. Well, there is a certain something I require for my work, but it is not to be found in this kingdom. I do not have the courage to venture, to venture further afield to find it. Flip it, Ackman! Just tell us what it, tell us what you need to go fetch, will you? Um. I, I have heard that there is a special type of egg that changes color when it is boiled. Alas, I do not know its name or where it might be found. What is that gonna help with your painting? Maybe you just want breakfast. Don't worry, we'll find you. We'll find one for you. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so new quest, Hippono, Hippono the shy artist. Hippono, an artist from Hydropolis, is suffering from some kind of creative block and can't come up with an idea for a new painting. She'd like to come, or she'd like to, at some point, weird, uh, oh my gosh, she'd like to look at some weird and wonderful objects that are likely to s to set her creative juices flowing and it's up to Evan to bring them to her. Bring Hippono an egg that changes color when boiled. Okay, let me go ahead and see if I don't have that already. I have a couple of eggs. An, old, an old odd egg with smile-like markings. The bigger the smile, the stronger the flavor. A rather unassuming egg that blends in with its surroundings, maybe? Uh, no one's quite sure what it laid it, but it's actually not as bad as it looks. Uptown egg, a, shil a, a chickly shelled egg, or chicly shelled egg, pleasing to look at and to eat. An eye-catching egg for when the good times roll. Change color and boiled, here it is, jazz egg. All right, here you go, it's like an Easter egg. Hello. Here you are, I brought you a jazz egg. This is the one you wanted, isn't it? The one that changes color when it's boiled? Thanks. Oh yes, yes. This is what I was, what I asked for. Oh, I cannot wait to see what it, what hues it produces. Oh, I am terribly sorry to have to ask, but there is one more thing I need to, you to bring me. It's never just one item. It is a mushroom that reveals a host of exotic colors when cut open. Perhaps you know what fungus of which I speak. Flippin act, man. Another favor. I thought you would. You were, you were shy, man. Now, now, Lofty. Don't worry, Hippono. Just wait here, and we'll bring you your mushroom. Okay, so a mushroom now, huh? Hey. Let's figure this out, do we have that? Cutesy Pops. Two cloying to enjoy, a firm old fungus, solid enough to sit on, moonbeam mushrooms. No, no, no. So we don't have that yet. As always, we always have the first half of every quest that's a fetch quest. Oh my gosh. So of all that, we've found every quest available in Hydropolis. I really don't know if I can do too much more reading before my eyes explode 
Like, I'm sure there's like 70,000 quests in Broadleaf. If we can go to the entrance and poke around maybe a little bit, and then I'll start finding more quests in the next episode, and then I will actually do some quests in the next episode as well. I'm sorry for a lot of reading, but like I said, all this is inevitable. Oh my gosh, there's so many. There's a lot here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We'll find all of that out later though. That's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. If you watched the video, make sure you comment Zebra Cup so I know you've watched the end of the URA Zebra Task Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.